today I got John Mangus lips. Mwah. I'm back and you are looking at a blank box. It's so interesting. In fact, it's so interesting that I'm gonna let you stare at it a moment longer because guess what? It cleared customs. So other than that, I know absolutely nothing. It's just big and the box itself is pretty ugly and tattered, but guess what? It made it here, okay? And it's what is on the inside that counts. And here we go. Ooh, it almost ripped down my bee. Now it is time to open the box. And here we go. What did you send me? Ah, paper! What's in the paper? What is that? <gasps> Dude, that is more than just a doll. Okay guys, as usual, I messed up and the genius that I am accidentally deleted the clip where I explained who sent this box to me. So this box was sent to me by Spin Master and inside I'm supposed to get a first look at some of the dolls that are coming out this spring. So that should be pretty cool and uh, yeah. I opened everything up and I've got this pretty sweet looking display so I'm not gonna mess with it for the moment. I'm gonna mess with whatever this thing is uh, cause it looks like a fancy futuristic printer with pokey things. So I'm gonna do this. Let's see how close I can get with it looking at the instructions. This has got a pulley jibber so no it doesn't. Don't break it. <laughs> uh, okay I didn't wanna but I guess I gotta look at the instructions. All right, according to the instructions, I'm gonna just chill here for a second, thanks. This is a poster, um, but it looks like I was doing it right. You pull the jibber on top and then boom, you get a poster and then you poke the metal thing and then, you know, the poster stands up. But mine ain't working, so I'm gonna have to keep trying. I feel like it's trapped in there. Why you gotta be trapped? We just wanna see you. Pull up graphic and secure two poles. Well, I'm trying. You don't wanna work though. <laughs> this video is going nowhere. Mine's broken. Yeah. I just can't even. Hold on. I gotta get the husband. Man, I hate when I can't do things on my own. Cause then he thinks he's good at things. Mike! I'll be back. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Try that again. Bloopers, okay. The husband fixed it, but we're gonna pretend I did it myself because that's just how I do things. Look guys, I did it! Okay, no, truth is you had to pull it that way and I was not, not doing that. Okay, okay. Oh, that's so cool. I finally got it. Woo! We're gonna take some glamour shots in front of this. This is like what the Hollywood people do. They take Hollywood-esque photos. Take a quick peek, cause it's off the hook. Off the hook, yo. You might have noticed that I'm kind of filming from the side today and that's because this is as far as my hands can get if I stand behind the camera. Unless maybe I do this, let me see. Wait, I can't see now because I'm under the camera. What's happening here? Oh, I look like Skeletor arms, that's not good. Let's try it anyways. Looks like we've got a hot red set of lips. These look like those lip candy. I guess they're called hot lips. It's a clutch purse and let's see. And it is, we'll just flip that out and flip that out and there is a chain inside. So it's a tight squeeze, but you can actually fit quite a bit in there. That's kind of impressive. This definitely looks like something that Miranda Sings would need. <laughs> I'm not sure what outfit this could go with for me, but I'll find something. We also have this super cute hat. This is a black knit hat. It's got white whiskers and a white little nose. So cute. And then the ears are fuzzy. Wait, they're fuzzy on the back too? Oh my gosh. So a quick side note, in one of my poly videos, I put the black cat to the side and said, you're bad luck. That was a joke. I actually love black cats. I used to have two. One was named Salem and the other was India. I actually love them. So no hating on black cats. They're awesome. Put that there and that will be part of my new ensemble. Mwah! Van of the lips. Ooh. So as if sending me dolls, a hat, and a purse wasn't enough, they've also sent me a Fuji film camera. I'm pretty excited, like overwhelmingly excited because I don't get freebies like this. <laughs> I know other YouTubers are used to this, but I'm kind of a nobody and I'm slowly becoming a maybe sort of somebody and I'm not used to all these extra little things. Thank you so much. This is such an awesome box set. But um, yeah, now let's open the dolls and check them out because that's that's what I'm supposed to be reviewing. And then I'm gonna take some pictures. Oh, she fell. And then I'm gonna take some pictures with the off the hook background. That's off the hook. Is that a hook? That's off the hook. Now we're actually getting to the dolls. We have four individually packaged dolls. One from Summer Vacay, Vivian. One from the concert, Alexis. Mila from Spring Dance. And Brooklyn, also from Spring Dance. Then we have a double pack here, and I can't see the names. Uh, Alexis again, and Brooklyn. Wait a minute. How could Alexis be at the concert twice? Ah! 
I need continuity. So these are, anywho, these are the new line called Off the Hook, in case you couldn't tell, from Spin Master. They're set to come out this spring and they are all for ages five and up. So I'm gonna open them up and we're gonna get the nitty gritty on what they're actually like before they even come out. Here we go. Here is Vivian. She very kindly volunteered to go first. She is from the summer vacay club or party scene. Not sure what it's gonna be yet until I open it. We're gonna get one doll in here and two fashions. We're gonna start by peeling here. Ooh, that's a really cute hanger. I'm gonna try to take that off after and use it for Barbie clothes or something. I don't wanna mess up my nails. I pretended to be fancy today. Okay, let's see how I do with a cardboard tear strip. Here we go. I really wish blind bags would start coming in like little envelopes. It's not taking away the surprise and it's something we could recycle. So think about that companies. All right, what's gonna be in here? Better be off the hook, am I right? It is a body on a hanger, a strapless pink and white striped top and it's posed. And that's about it. I'm gonna collect and separate the garbage from the recycling and see how much there is, because I know you guys care about that. So that was the top, now we get to do the bottom. We've got a lookbook and another thing, and I'll check that out in a second. And then we have another line bag. This time we have some high-waisted red sailor type shorts, very fluorescent red, with white buttons and a white stripe, and then some high knee socks with stripes, and then she's got no feet yet. This one's also on a hook. I'm assuming that's how we put her body together. Oh, and it can bend. Now let's see what this is. The contents. So we'll get a head, hair, skirt, outfit, outfit, shoes. So just put that behind us. That counts as recycling. And where'd that lookbook go? Here it is. It's like a catalog. Oh, okay, it's not a catalog. This is basically our checklist. But the cool thing about this is you can collect all these and literally use them on anyone. So that's actually quite awesome. Now, how do we open the rest of this? I don't see any more tear here spots. So I'm assuming we just don't know. I've been following the rules and now there are no more rules. It's chaos. I guess we just rip it. I don't like it. I don't like that at all. Okay. Someone said I needed scissors. Oh no, there's another. Don't cut her skirt. All right, is that it? Yes, it is. Okay, let me take a good look at this quality. Her head has a cut in the bottom. I bet you everybody else that's doing this review is like, oh, it's so cute, I like this quality, awesome. And here we are like, got a hole in her neck, but why is it there? Oh, wait, keep your wig on, girl. Okay, her hair needs to stay still. She's actually really cute. Okay, let's just take her hair off because it's bothering me. Man, she even pulls off the bald look. On the back of her head, there's some numbers that probably indicate something important to the people who made this, but we just want to see the quality. So clearly there's no bald spots because her hair is plastic. Her her body is a grayish pink. She's got super bright red hair. She turns all the way around. It's kind of freaking me out. It's like an owl. She's got these really bright green eyes. They're almost yellow even. The paint seems pretty decent. I don't see any nicks or chips yet. I think her nose and her facial features are really cute. Actually, I don't know if you can tell. I can't zoom in anymore without it getting blurry on you, but the paint for her lipstick is going much lower than her lip. It's almost down to her chin. So that might just be a misprint on mine. I'll check it on the others and see how it is. It feels matte, but also shiny. I don't get it. Her hair actually has a bit of sculpting in it too. It's almost like it's under a pink bald cap, to be honest. So she's got a a fabric skirt and it's like an ombre effect from purple to pink and orange and her shoes are huge she's got big feet like a brat's doll she's got pink socks with pink stars blue sneakers with some pretty platform heel there not quite as platform as a spice girl shoe but platform enough i'm going to take that off so that we can actually check out her body here. Um, right now, she's currently wearing a striped blue and white shirt with a red anchor on it. She's got a blue bracelet and a yellow bracelet, and I'm gonna try to unhook her body. I'm not quite sure how to yet. Does it just pop off? Yes, it does. Does her head pop off? Oh, snap, it does. Yeah, that's so weird. So beyond just being like, nah, uh it actually works as a hook. That would be why it's sideways, duh. Okay, now I'm feeling really weird, like I just ripped apart this poor girl, so let me just put her back together another way. Oh, look at that. We technically have another outfit. If we take that off, we have three bottoms. Cool. Before I give her her new look, I wanna check out her hair. This is a really nice sculpted piece. It's a cute hairstyle too, and I actually like that they gave barrettes that look like this instead of just standard single lined ones that resemble a bob pin. That's actually really cute. There's even an elastic around the ponytail too. It makes it look a little bit more real and believable. Who needs a body? Nobody. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> All right, I'm going to attempt to make a new body. Here's my legs. I'll put it in there. Woo, woo, woo. She's super flexible. And then attach it to that. 
That's pretty cute. And then where'd her shoes go? So the only thing I'm not liking right now is that the shoes definitely look like they match the one outfit more than the other. I mean, once we get more dolls, we can swap them out, but that kind of bugs me just a bit. And because her bottom half, like where the shoes are, are so big, it kind of makes her unproportioned. You know what I mean? Her neck is super long and it looks like her head is a bobblehead and her waist is super teeny and then she's got legs and then BAM! Big giant shoes. So I'm not sure. The quality is here but the finished look. I'm not sure I'm a fan of it quite yet. Oh, and I just realized when we changed her shirt, it actually changed her pose. So it went from a panned to a down swish. Let's go for Brooklyn. She is part of the spring dance party, I guess. And we'll start at the top. Okay, I guess we didn't have to open it all the way like I did last time. You just pull it out. Let me take off this hanger before I forget. And then we'll get the bottom one. So I definitely like this style of blind box. That's cool. It's just the getting the doll part out that bothers me. I wish there was like a thing along the side. That would have made sense since that's what they're going with. Don't mind me. I'm ripping away. Here is our top blind bag. Oh, that's really cute. It actually ends up changing the doll's pose. It comes with silver bracelets on one side and a pink one on the other. And when we change it, it will make it so that she's wearing a light pink spaghetti strap top with a glittery peplum little frill. Does the glitter come off? Not really. I can handle this. <laughs> Second blind bag. So here's our new bottom. It is a very pink and glittery skirt. There is a bit more glitter dust coming off on me this time than on the shirt. And she's got some knee-high socks with an interesting square and lined pattern. It looks like Brooklyn really enjoys glitter because she's wearing it here too. Get her out. You only had one? Okay. Oh, she actually comes with glasses. How come the other doll didn't come with extras? They are light pink with little rosettes all along the top and it looks like little pink pearls on the bottom and it's actually see-through in the center. That's pretty adorable. I'm gonna have to make sure I try those on. Here is Brooklyn. Her hair is purple. Oh, it's actually light purple turning to ombre and it's got glitter in it, which is coming off on my hands. <laughs> her shoe fell off. All right, so her skin is a light blue minty green type color. She's like pace. Her eyes are really pretty. She reminds me of like a mermaid. So she's got a frilly pink tank top on and an ombre skirt going from blue to green, also glittered, and some glittery yellow and pink pumps at the bottom. She's got one pink bangle and her makeup is really, really cute. Her lipstick isn't coming off of her lips, so that one must have been a defect on the other one. And she's got some light rouging on her cheeks. Let's pop off her hair. Oh, not her head, not her head. See what she looks like bald. Oh, look, the glitter even continues through to the inside. Now that is consistency. It's pretty nice makeup. Let's try it with a different wig. Since they're all compatible, technically we're getting a whole bunch of options here. Once you put the other wigs and stuff on, you can see a little bit of the painted underside where her scalp is. But if you just situate it in the right way, right around the curve there to go on the ear, it's not too bad. Let's give a little twisty test for how well it turns. It goes all the way around at the waist, the head, and of course it bobs side to side with some feisty attitude. Doop, doop, doop. Let's change up the outfit and try on the new one. Rip her head off and rip her body off. Her shoes don't stay on very well. In fact, these ones just keep falling off. The other girls stayed on much better. I think this one is a bit too big. Ready? I'm gonna let go. It's very possible that I was given two loose shoes. I think I was. Okay, unlike the other doll, at least this one kind of still matches her aesthetic because it's got pink in both outfits. But once again, it kind of just makes her look a little disproportionate because her feet are just so big compared to the rest of her super thin body. But I know a lot of toys do that. So, I mean, I'm not a toy designer, but I would have made them a bit smaller. And stay on. And of course, you are not limited to just using one or the other outfit. You can swap them and create your own thing using the first shirt and the bottom skirt of the second one or the shirt and the stuff from the new one. It's just up to you. All this glitter is coming off on me though. Here she is. Okay, let's check out another now. Wait, I can't, I gotta try on her glasses. So her hair is kind of in the way. I'm gonna have to take her hair off. 
and try it out that way first. So far the other one seems a little bit better than this one because the shoes stay on. It'd be a little harder to play with this one with this shoe falling off constantly, but that is really cute. Moving on, we've got Alexis and this is the concert Alexis with some rainbow hair. Number one. I'm gonna have to go from the bottom. That one doesn't want to open. And number two. Our first bag. Well, that's pretty cute. It looks like a black spaghetti strap tank top underneath a short pink coat. And it's got some white chevrons, white buttons, and white whatever that is. Second bag. Oh, wow. Did not see that coming. Okay, so we have interesting stuff. A very loose fitting pair of teal shorts with fishnet metallic black pants. Time for Alexis herself. Got it. Here she is. She looks very innocent. I think it's the hairstyle. She has pink, nope, that's coral. Coral to purple hair with some fruit in it. It looks like little tangerines and leaves. She is light pink. Her makeup is good. Nothing is coming off of her lips, so that's good. And she's got coral eyebrows. So I think that must be her hair color underneath. Orangey coral, yes. And she's got a little bit of paint defects in the form of purple, but it looks like actually the same amount is missing from the inside of the wig there, so I think it just stuck to it and pulled off. So we could scratch that away. She's got light rouging on her cheeks. She comes wearing a little leather bolero type thing with a studded collar and a teal ruched looking shirt underneath. She's also got some jeans with what looks like a long sleeve shirt tied around it. And the jeans actually have a little bit of detailing on them too, which is hard to pick up in the camera. But you can see all the creases and the folded cuffs and stuff. So it's kind of cool. She's wearing teal and purple shoes with studded straps in black and a black plaid. Form. She's also got a yellow bracelet and a purple bracelet. So let's try on her other outfit. Simple as that. Let's see, her shoes were staying, so hopefully they stay again. Oh, that's a good snug fit. Same there, that's how they're supposed to be. So that other one there must just be a looser foot. There we go, she looks pretty cute. That's a weird looking outfit though. I don't think those colors go together very well, but she is a trend setter, I suppose. Oh, nope, Jen just made her bad looking. Oh, her eyes are really pretty too. That's probably why she looks so innocent because she's got those light blue eyes and I like how big they are. Let me try her with a different hair color. See if it suits her the same. Oh, she looks like a totally different character now. And let's try her with the pink hair. There's a lot of possibilities with this. Oh, that's really cute too. It kind of looks like the Equestria Girls Pinkie Pie if she was wearing strange looking clothing and didn't look like herself at all. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Time for the last individual box, and this is Mila. Take that off first, and find the back. Ooh, that one worked, awesome. Let's do the pants first this time. She's got the same type of weird flowy shorts as Alexis, but this time in a light purple to a darker purple, and with silver tassels on the side. She's also wearing some pink stockings with silver metallic parts on them and they too have that fishnet type detailing. Ugh. Hey I got it! Sweet! <laughs> Here is the second blind bag. This is a light purple shirt with white flowers on it and she's got a little bangle and a bracelet in light pink on her wrist and she's like peace. This definitely works for the spring dance aesthetic that she's going for because it's such a light color. Very, very springy. And now time to struggle with the box. I think so far that's my one suggestion is if they had a strip along the side to make it easier to open. Because right now I kind of just have to yank at the back. There's nowhere to start from. Ah. Here we go. So she too came with an accessory. I think only the spring ones have come with an accessory so far. It's a really cute headband though. Let's check it out first since it's already in my hand. So it's got a pink rose on top. The tips of each petal is just dipped lightly in glitter. I don't really think you could see how pretty it is. And then the band itself is orange with red glitter embedded in the plastic. Seriously, her shoe fell off. And we're back. Her shoe is on now. I think it just wasn't pushed in all the way. That one's much better. Okay, so here's our doll. She's a light, I don't know, a light, light blue gray color. She's got light brown eyes too. She's really pretty. 
I really like the makeup on these. So her hair is braided. Oh, that's cool. It's two-toned. It's three-toned. It's tri-toned hair. Okay. On the one side, it's an ombre effect from blue turning to a dark bluish purple. And then on the other side, it is blue turning to a light pink. It's like cotton candy. She's got a dark pink halter style shirt underneath a very deep V'd pink tank top and it's glittery. And she's got a skirt to match in the same pink with glitter which is coming off on me. She's got blue stockings or tights and then some bright yellow socks inside of hot pink and light pink glittery shoes. Once again, the shoes just are too big for me. It seems like she would just fall over. Can these stand? Well, she's tipping. It could be her pose. No, she can't even stand because her feet are so big. You didn't even see that. I'll show you after. Just trust me, okay? There. <laughs> so let's take off her hair and underneath. She is blue and gloriously bald. But once again, no defects in the makeup or anything. That's actually really nice. Hopefully the quality stays like that. These ones might just be perfect because they got sent out for viewing, who knows. But, but I'm actually liking them so far. And her lipstick is on too. Oh, I like that color of lipstick. It's almost like a very hot neon orange. Hmm. Let's try her other outfit. Give me your head. And we'll try the headband on that one. This outfit is going to be very purple. <laughs> But it's not gonna match those shoes, which is what bothers me. Cause like no part of her is yellow. I feel like these look like clown shoes on these dolls. Look how weird that body shape is right now. We could reposition her though, but the shoes are just too big. Other than that, the dolls themselves are kind of cool. Where is that headband? Can this headband even fit her? Her hair is really big. There we go. The headband doesn't suit either look very much. Probably look better on her when she's bald, to be honest. Oh, it doesn't fit her when she's bald. It kind of just falls off. But how cute is that? Try her with the purple hair. I really like how they make the dolls look so innocent. I think it's the painting, the eyes and the colors they've chosen. Actually, this one makes her look like an alien. I'm not a fan of this one. But look, no matter what, they just look innocent and sweet. <laughs> Lastly, we have our two pack, which is kind of weird because Alexis was already in the concert category. So I'm not exactly sure why we have two in that category, but we'll open it up and check it out. This time we've got the style BFFs. So we've got a round container, a square container, and two shopping bags. And they're best friends and they look so cute. One plus three plus four plus six plus eight equals her. Best friends, fashion friends. Oh, the back is too overwhelming for me. <laughs> it's telling you, for example, number one, number two, number three, number four. They're telling you what you can combine in order to create this. But we'll figure that out on our own. There's no tear strippy things this time. We just got to open it, but I don't know where our starting point is. So I'll just start at the bottom, I guess. Oh, there we go. All right. They look super cute. And it just dawned on me that I was given this exact hat. Although hers doesn't seem to have any little kitty ears, but that's the hat I got from them. How cute. Okay. I think I adequately snippy snipped everything. So let's take them out. I'll check out the dolls last. No, her shoes! Ah, got it. Now to find the shoes. Girl, could you be any cuter? Ah, uh, yeah, I could. Let's open up our shopping bags and check it out. <laughs> that was my attempt at playing like a regular toy channel. Did you like it? It was weird, wasn't it? All right, our girls are just chilling right there and we're gonna check out what surprises we got before we look at them. I'll start with this little one on top. It's got little paw prints on it. It's kind of like a shoe box, actually. Maybe if I focused, you could see it better. There we go. So it's light pur purple. It's purple, guys. It's light purple with embedded silver glitter. It's got some paw prints on top and a question mark. Don't you question me. Urgh. Inside we have green and white paper. Oh, it's like tissue paper. Oh, and it is shoes. Get out, Get my shoe. We've got our giant shoes here. So they are white high tops with bright pink socks, laces, and stripes along the bottom and black paw prints. And they all have little holes in the bottom. So maybe at some point we're gonna get little bases or stands for them to stand on. I haven't found any inside the packaging, so I don't think that's a thing yet, but yeah. Next up, we will do this box. This is a really pretty box. Also question mark. This one is red with embedded glitter and polka dots on top. No paw prints. Usually this would be a hat box, but it is sunglasses. But I like that there's paper inside instead of a plastic bag to open. This is a good idea. This is stuff that we could reuse. Way to go, Spin Master. Maybe they saw my videos and saw all of our complaints. Okay. Oh, those are adorable. 
They are bright pink kitty glasses and they've got little whiskers out of the bottom and little cat ears on top. And they're actually see-through too, so we'll be able to see the doll's eyes when we put them on. Next up, it's got a question mark on it too. I need to remember to take these off because then we'd be able to see that there's a kitty face there. There we go. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, adorable. Wait, I gotta take the stickers off the other ones. I'll do that after. We have this light greenish blue handbag. No, not a handbag, shopping bag. That's the one. With this cute little white kitty face on it. And what are we gonna get? Oh, that's an interesting color. This is a very hot pink, not see-through, but not not see-through backpack with a silver zipper and a black kitten face on it. The only thing is they can't wear the backpack. So it's kind of just a prop. Well, I guess they can hook it on their hand, but I want her to wear the backpack. Look, she looks kind of sad about it. She's like, hmm, if only it had straps. What a shame. Put that back in there. And what's in the last bag? Oh, sticker. Ah, this one is an ombre bag. It is pink to purple, or I guess we go top to bottom, purple to pink, see-through. And it's got white paw prints on it. And all of the paper wrapping is consistent, which is cool. It's like they went shopping in the same stores. Oh, she also gets a backpack. <gasps> no way. Okay, this is black and galaxy. If only it had a strap. This one on mine is just a bit defective. The sticker or the vinyl print or whatever it was is peeling off here and there's just paint on the side and no strap. I mean, obviously it's not intended to have one. It's just supposed to go on their hand, but I feel like that could have been really cool. So these double packs don't actually come with any clothes. That means they just swap their outfits. So let's check them out. The check it out girls, check it out, check it out, check it out. So this one is Alexis as a recap and this is Brooklyn. We'll check out Alexis first cause she just looks like she's running out of patience. This time her hair is coral with some purple streaks in the bangs. I don't know. This time she's got white and black fruit with black leaves in it. Her makeup is still really good. The lipstick is not coming off. She's wearing a striped teal and white shirt with a kitty face on it and yellow bracelets. She could still turn and do all that great stuff. Whoop, 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 whoop. Her hair is turning with her. <laughs> she is wearing a black skirt and white knee highs with black stripes on them. And then she's got some black combat boots with cat faces on the bottom. Let's see it. They come off easily and they stick back on. Here's Brooklyn. This time she is so carefree with wind blowing through her hair. She's got pink and blue streaks just above her bangs and in the back there underneath her hair. I kind of like how they put details where you can see them. That's cool. Oh, pulled off her shoe by accident. Her makeup is still really good. There's no defects in it. No paint coming off under her lips, which I keep checking now because of that first doll. She is wearing light pink overalls, but as shorts with an off the shoulder black shirt underneath and a lace up hot pink bracelet. She's got really cute knee highs, but they're black cats. She's wearing metallic purple sandal heels with black socks. Socks on top of socks, that's weird. And where'd her hat go? Put that back on. Now on the back of that package, it showed us what to mix and match to get a different look. So let's mix and match some outfits. Basically we take her bottom and put her shoes with them. Pretty easy to swap. And then you take that off there and put it on there. No, I dropped one. Where'd it go? Try that again. I put the shoes back on and all right. So you take the lower body from the other doll and attach it to a Brooklyn, but swap the shoes. I don't know why I just put the other one back on. These shoes are finicky. For the most part, they stay on when you least expect it. Bam, they fall on the floor and you gotta find them. But at least they are not super duper tiny. I believe that's the look we were going for. Yep, she's done. No, try that again. Maybe that's a sign. That's why the shoe fell because I was doing the wrong one. There is her changed look and now it's it's time to change Alexis. So give her this lower half and these shoes. You know, it's too bad her hair is up like this because her stockings would have matched that hat. She's like, mm-hmm, I know it. And now we can give her this trendy bag. Oh, she doesn't want to hold hers. She's lazy because that's all she can do with it, unfortunately. And here she is with her glasses. Wow, those ones are really big. She looks kind of crazy. No! Ah! She looks like the divination teacher in Harry Potter with giant, giant spectacles. <laughs> Let's try her with those new sneakers that came in the surprise box. Oh gosh. These ones, because they're so bright, they just totally prove my point that they look massive. I think that's the thing that's bothering me the most in the form of A, being too huge. They just fall off and they be, they be huge, man. No, <laughs> they fall off a lot and they are a little bit too big. I know that's the look they're going for, but I'm not sure if I'm a complete fan of that yet. Okay, I think 
This here is my favorite look. I think my favorite doll here is Brooklyn or Mila. Maybe not in that outfit though. I think I like Mila better in the other outfit. Maybe it's because it's just too much pale right now. I'm gonna play around with these, like mess around and give them a different style and then take some snapshots. All right guys, what you are seeing now are some different looks that I've come up with by swapping around different accessories and body parts to create new dolls and looks. So while you're looking at that, I'm gonna give you the breakdown of what I think of this product. Will my opinions change anything? Probably not, but here they are anyway. For those of you who are keeping track, each individual doll only came with two blind bags, everything else was recyclable, and that two pack had zero waste in it. So in total, we only have eight pieces of garbage. That is really cool, especially considering even just one LOL ball has more waste than the five packages that I opened. That's crazy. I think the quality is great, the paint is really good, excluding Vivian. Her lips were a little skewed, but every one that we opened after was perfect, so I'm not really gonna say that that's an overall quality issue. I think it was just a one-off. I think the idea or the concept is really cool and very different from anything we currently have because I don't know about you, but I have not unhooked a hanger from a doll's head before or their torso. <laughs> now, the few things that I do think need to be addressed or need work would be checking that the shoes fit. I had that one pair of shoes that just kept falling no matter what I did. I'm not sure if the shoes were too big or if the legs were too skinny on that one doll, but as soon as I let go, down the shoes went and you do not get another set. If you only have one doll and you lose those shoes, they're gone. Now, while we're talking about the shoes, I do personally feel that they're a bit too big. I'm assuming that's the look they're going for. However, it makes the dolls look too disproportioned. Between the shoes and the head, you can't make them balance or stand unassisted, and believe me, I tried. Overall, I actually like these dolls. The concept is actually pretty neat, and even though it's a little strange at first, you get used to it pretty quick. It basically feels like you're playing with a real life version of one of those fashion games that are on your phone, just swapping pieces out really quickly to create a new look. And we all know that those games are actually kind of fun. If you know somebody who loves dolls and you think that they'd like to see what's coming this spring, then please be sure to share this video with them. And if you enjoyed it yourself, please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know down below what do you think. Are these dolls off the hook? Are you excited to give them a try this spring? Thank you once again to Spin Master, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!